Uh, greetings. Uh, this is the Wisnaki Talks uh, video. In these uh, videos now and then, I will do a video where at the same time watch where um, I shall have a chat um, to you directly. Um. Watch my knife. I, what I do on a regular basis is that when I'm not walking, I stray away when I wake up in the morning. I read the Bible. It's the first thing I do. Well, the first thing I do is go to the toilet, of course. Uh, <laughs> then I read the Bible. So I read it for two, two hours, um, two or three hours, and then I uh, have something to eat. But today now what I did was I just... Um, I, I just read the Bible and now I'm washing well and then I'll eat in about an hour's time. I woke up at about nine o'clock and it's now twelve o'clock. Yeah. The good thing about when you're very weak um is that it brings peace well, to me it brings peace to me. Um not eating brings peace to me, um, because I don't have the energy to engage with others and it brings peace to me. Um, I, my thoughts, my thoughts don't affect me. Um, I feel calmness, um, I don't feel anything when I eat now. I don't even. I'm numbed to everything of this world. Even washing this way, or I I feel nothing. When I talk to people, I I feel nothing of this world. Um, the only thing I feel is when I do help for other people, and when I do things of the spirit that feeds my spirit. And my soul, only then do I feel something outside of that. I feel nothing, just emptiness. This is just. It's a good advantage of not eating it. it, helps me more than many people don't understand. Most people, when they don't eat, they get ground in things they have attachment to food or they have attachment to the body so they go oh my god I'm starving oh my god I need some food give me food ah! and then they suffer wrath um, they get angry then and then they get angry at other people and crouch at other people I'm the polar opposite I'm able to remain calm because I'm at peace with my with my soul um, I just don't play quiet when I'm around people um, that's what I do now I don't talk that much anymore like I was when I was a child and it brings peace. When people talk about their lives and things, I just remain silent and listen. I'm focused on spiritual things. This world is temporary. Um, it's kind of white noise when most people talk about their lives and things as a lot of them are oblivious to their own don't end um, what's coming. Um, I'm not, I'm kind of looking forward to my journey ends. People often kind of see, kind of, in all for you to have happiness in existence, you have to have attachment to this world. I'm the polar opposite. I hate and despise this world. I am at peace when I'm detached and away from this world and anything else. Um, at the moment, now I've never been happy in my life when in the presence of God, because God is always with me, so I'm always happy. Um, this notion that you have to be with people constantly, this notion that, you know, uh, it's often for amusement people say they're bored because that, mean, that, that means they can't love themselves and the reason why they can't love themselves is because they can't love God and God is love so unless you have the Holy Spirit you'll never know what love is your love is attachments to this world of people 
that's and that love is only temporary and because people can't truly love only God is the only being that can love unconditional, unconditional love God has that's why God gave us free will to choose our path and that's the free will I give other people I don't I'm probably happy spending my rest of my existence where I am if people want to be in my presence, they can so choose, and if they don't, they don't. If they so choose to go down the destructive cycle and continue living, um, feeding into the sins, and continue forming bonds with people only for those people, two people to turn each other, I let them do so. And because they have attachments to this world, that's why they can't form bonds with each other. It's either they, the bonds are based on, um, it's my observation of humanity though, but. It's heartbreaking though. It's basically they have to take some bit of like perceptions of each other and they have to take some boxes that each other have to tick. If they don't then and if things go AWAR, they, they don't they're not able to handle the pressure because they, they, they can't because they don't have patience, they don't have understanding, they don't have love. Uh, they have attachments to objects, they have attachments to each other, they have attachments of perception to each other, they have fear. Fear of God frees you from everything, fear of debt. Humans are very reactionary, because um, I was once this, so I, I remember the way I once was, and now I'm totally changed. I have no attachments whatsoever. Um, so for most people, it looks like that I'm completely depressed. It may, may seem across that I'm depressed because I don't talk that much, because people have a equation that if you're, ooh, happy, jolly, jolly all the time, that you must be happy. That if you're very quiet, then there must be something wrong with you. Yeah, there must be something wrong with that guy, because that guy is always quiet all the time when he's around people. No, I, I'm just ha happy in my, my, my own presence with God. I, I don't need to be constantly chatting all the time. I can simply just listen, observe, and then if people need my help, I give them some advice. It's up to them if they shall take it or not. Um, so I, I choose my existence reading the Bible, uh, doing my YouTube work, spreading the word of God. I have to come to let, allow God to heal my pain and my soul and my heart. God gave me a new heart. So in a way, I, it's hard to explain to people unless you have the Holy Spirit, but I died. My old self died, even though there's some remnants of my old self left. It's most it's mostly gone. It's, I, I still get tempted by gluttony and pride at times and wrath, but it's mostly gluttony at the moment. Though I, I kind of eat too much chocolates and things, um, but I often get tempted into sin of slot as well, which um, which is known as laziness, which is kind of being unproductive with the gifts that God gave you. Majority of humanity by default have the sin of slot. Uh, they have the sin of wrath, lust. Uh, gluttony, envy, I don't have any of them, but I don't have, I, because I'm aware that this world is temporary, so developing having sins is stupid, uh, I refer to develop like love, charity, joy, and that's what the Holy Spirit gives you, uh, temperance, uh, the, the, the diligence, uh, which is one that I have to work on a lot of the diligence, um, Especially with people's intentions, I, I, I'm blinded by people's darkness. Um, I want to be a light, but that's not my place, but for God's place. Um, I can only plant the seeds. Well, a lot of people who are deeply, and I, I wrote this out in my copy, which I'm doing the video, and that, who have a religious spirit, is they try and force. They try and force people, convert people to their set of beliefs and things, and that's not their place. Their place is just to plant seeds uh, and just tell them once. You don't tell people constantly over and over again, like shutting them down the throat. Um, that's 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 not what God. That's not what God commands us to do. God commands us to respect people's free will. So you just tell them once, and you show them not by your words, but by your actions. Um, that's what you do mostly by your actions, not your words, and then you. Explain you explain to them about the gospel and things and about God and Jesus and Jesus love you and God's love you. That's all you can do. But you must recognize that they will be blinded by the devil so they might not see what you're talking about or understand what you're talking about because 
before I had the Holy Spirit, I did not understand. I used to question the gospel, um, I used to question God. But when you have the Holy Spirit, it totally changes you. You're no longer attached to to this world. Like, I was hugely attached to the PlayStation, I was hugely attached to football, I was hugely attached to helping other people. For not the reasons of my soul, but helping other people, because I thought that was the right thing to do, which I still always did out of love, but now since I've had the Holy Spirit, it has changed. Well, you can help people by sometimes, if you have loved ones that are going down destructive paths, sometimes not feeding into the sin is the best way of helping them. So that's what I've done now. I've I won't feed into my loved ones' sins um, at all, or humanity sins. Um, you must being a disciple of Christ comes at a, a, to me. Many people will see it as a cost, only because they're attached to this word. But to me, there's no cost involved at all. <laughs> no, no. I'm happy, it makes me closer to God, so where's the cost? Like, there's no cost when you're, when you're connected to the creator of the universe. There's no cost involved in that, and my soul, there's, no, there's nothing in this world that's more important than my soul. Like, what good is a man to have, or a woman or a man, to have the entire world of this world if he forfeits his own soul, or her soul, and for a damnation of just this temporary existence? Our existence in this world is temporary because we all die. So imagine like wherever your life on the span of this planet is, is that what like indulging in sin for your complete existence, only for then when you're sought then for you to die, for you to have an eternity of damnation. I would easily like sacrifice like everything in my existence what I have left and live on the streets and just have the God with me and die. Or face death or anything that's temporary in this world. It's not as important than your soul. I I will gladly choose that because God God has freed me of my suicidal thoughts. I used to constantly have suicidal thoughts. I constantly have dark thoughts. I constantly have thoughts of hurting people. But no, I don't. I'm at peace, and that's a price that that's that's nothing that that anyone be able to understand. To it's, it's hard. It's I I only I pray every night that those I love and humanity might know the love of God, because it's just it's just the love is. So at peace. I feel nothing when I'm doing this. That's that's in my head. Well, I plan to spend the rest of my days, but well, tomorrow will be my last day, or whenever God chooses my journey to end. I spend every moment of my life in service of God, obedience to God, and doing His work and His will. To the very moment I draw my last breath and my soul returns back to Him. So uh, I'll be doing a lot of these videos where I'll be just talking and letting you know what I'm doing with, with, with my current existence in this world, which but it's mostly just focusing on my work and my YouTube channel and I I'm able to help and I, I discovered using my YouTube channel might be a more effective way of doing this in a world that is consumed by fear at the moment and the next Next four years, because I don't watch television, I don't get to watch on television, but I am I can say for certain that there's going to be a lot of fear, 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 more fear, 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 plus fear, sports, fear, fear, celebrities, blah, 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 wars, t things that attach you to this world basis, all you see on television. Nothing of a spiritual thing to connect your, your soul, absolutely not. Because most religions, they're used as a form of attachment to this world to get people, uh, to more people into different groups, and then people would kind of have like a spiritual egotism and says, oh, I gave like 500 euros to this charity. Oh, no, I gave 800 euros to this charity. Oh, I gave 1,000 euros to this charity. And it becomes like uh, a competition between each other, which is a form of pride. Um, 
but all that is meaningless. The um, everything in this world is temporary. You you give to others because it comes from your soul and love. But unless you have the love of God, you can never truly love anything. Your love is an illusion. Uh, this is the love is the love of this world. It's not a love of your soul because only through your soul can you actually know love and know true love and love is unconditional. If you're attached to someone, expect them to form certain roles and things, you don't really truly love them. The, the greatest love I have is the love that God gave in my free will and that is the love I give to my loved ones. I respect and honor their free will. That that's when you truly love someone. If you truly love someone, you will let them choose their own path. And even that path ends up them, and you know so well, ends up them going down the destructive cycle of sin. You must allow that to take place and be there for them when they seek, when they, when they, if, if they so seek your help, or if they want to come back to you, you let them and know that they have the doors open for them to come back. Because that is the love that God has for us. We, I've turned against God, um, but he always had the door open for me to come back to him. And when I had the Holy Spirit in me, I have not jeopardized that connection with God ever. And it comes at a cost where you have to choose God above everything else. God above everything of this world. That includes your family, your loved ones, things you're once attached to. But the Holy Spirit helps you because it frees you from those attachments. But then you come across to humanity as there's something wrong with you because you're no longer attached to things you used to be attached to and you no longer want to connect in the same way that they want you to connect with because they're not connected with God and it will cause a conflict and if you're someone watching this that has Holy Spirit you'll be able to understand what I'm talking about um, for those that don't it's like me it's like it's like me to it's it's like um it's like a higher being trying to explain to a being that he creates about everything in existence but their minds are limited even my knowledge of god is limited or I, there's a lot of things that are beyond my comprehension that only god knows so if people come to me for very deep 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 spiritual advice i have to try to pray on it and consult god and hope that he'll give me the wisdom which he sometimes does um, but it's up for everyone to connect to have that choice if they so choose to connect with God um, but I'm it has changed my life completely for the better and I look forward to when my time is or to cease to exist in this world so that my soul may return to my Lord um, thanks so much for watching this video and may God bless you and all your family and all your loved ones.